I'd like to describe the tools available to the operator of the Paris system when that uh, operator is going to design a cranial implant for a large cranial defect. The image you see before you is uh, a skull created from CAT scan information and uh, the first tool I have at my disposal is the wand that I hold in my left hand and I can grab the object and turn it in any orientation I choose. You can see that the uh, skull is uh, cut on the sagittal plane, cut in half. And the other tool that I have under here is a stylus attached to a haptic system or, or force feedback system which allows me to literally touch, as you can see, the little green ball represents the head of the various tools that, that we have at our disposal uh, to uh, work on the design of the implant. And this particular tool is called the Add Clay Tool. If I can add volume to the edges of the defect, simply by pressing a button on the side of the stylus and as you can see I can add multiple layers and essentially fill in the void very quickly alright so now we have the carving tool which allows me to reshape the excess volume that I've added with the uh, add clay tool and what I can do is turn the model in an orientation that allows me to see the contour and now I can feel the edge of that clay and I know that's more than I need so by pressing the button once again it acts uh, very similar to a Dremel tool with the burr in it and I can I have the sensation of grinding away the excess material. Well, we've spent some time going back and forth between the various tools and now have what I find to be an acceptably smooth, well-formed implant. And the next step is to remove it from the uh, defect. And in the process of sculpting, the implant actually uh, gets caught in undercuts on the inner surface of the skull. There's a tool called the push tool that allows me to literally push from the back on the implant and will uh, remove those undercuts so that the implant will slip in and out of the hole in the skull very precisely and, uh, and give us just the precise fit that we want.